Welcome to the second part. Now I'm going to show you how to edit your login.php page to connect to your, uh, well, we've already connected to the database, but we're going to check our username and password against that in the database. Now, we've already connected to our, our database, and from refreshing this and resending my username and password, we can establish that there has been no errors, i.e. this error here, and we've seen that if we don't type data, we will get an error. Now, firstly what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, I'm going to set up a query. Um, if you've used um, MySQL or, sorry, any structured query language before, you'll know that you can query a database. You can, I think Microsoft Access has this. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to say, select, um, in fact we're going to say select star because we need the ID, the username and the password. I mean I don't think we need the ID but I'll say select star anyway, it will grab all the data. So select star from, and we've called this, let's have a look, users. So select star from users. And here we're going to say where username, which is the name of one of our, if we have a look here, it's the name of um, this uh, here. Um, and we are going to say where username equals and the username that has been typed. Now, if the username doesn't exist, we need to have some kind of error message to say, hold on a second, that user doesn't exist. So what we need to do is we need to use another um, function, uh, MySQL function, um, called MySQL num rows. So it counts the number of rows that have been um, retrieved from the query you have given the database. So um, we're gonna say num rows equals MySQL num rows and then in brackets we have the name of our query or the rather the variable I've stored the query function in and if we echo out the number of rows I'll just prove to you and test for myself that we should have one because we at the moment have one row if I were to add click insert and add another row of data for example another username and another password I'll give that a go now I'm going to be testing this later on. Um, let's see. Right. Username, we're going to say Kyle, and password is going to be 123 this time. Okay, um, so we can go. And there we are. Oh, hold on a second, where am I? Let's browse for these. Ah, there you go. Uh, screen, I can't really work with it. Okay, so we've got Alex Kyle. We can see the ID has been auto automatically incremented. We can see our, both our passwords here and the two usernames. So now if we refresh this, you'll be expecting to see... Oh, okay. Right, the reason this is returned one, um, this is the whole part of the check, is that if I was just selecting every user and then counting the row, uh, let's go back here and refresh and we'll get the value of two, because there's two rows. But if I'm saying select where the username equals my username, we're obviously only selecting where my username exists, and that is in one row. Because you usually, on a website, you won't have a duplicate username. Okay, so now that we've got this, what is the purpose of finding out how many rows there are? Now, the purpose is that we can say if num rows is equal to nothing, then that means we can, um, or rather, if my number is doesn't equal nothing, then we can execute the code we need to do, um, that, we, that we need to log in. Otherwise, sorry, else, we need to echo out, or rather, die again. We need to die. Um, that user doesn't exist. So basically what we're doing is we're checking that a row has been returned where we've supplied this username. And if it doesn't equal nothing, we can execute our code to log in. Um, otherwise, we're going to die and say that username does it, doesn't exist because this will equal 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. So, oh, sorry, it will equal, um, it will equal, if it doesn't equal nothing, then it must equal something. But if it does equal something, it will echo this else. So if it's equal to naught, that basically means that no results have been returned. So I'm going to resend this. Uh, actually, let's go back. 
and let's get rid of our echo non rows. Okay, so let's go back to our main page and we'll log in with Alex and ABC. Password doesn't matter at the moment. Nothing's happened because no errors have been returned. If I use, for example, Billy and type a password in, log in, that user doesn't exist because no rows that have the username equal to Billy have been returned. So we can see that that's working. I'll go back to my original thing. So Alex and my password is ABC. Okay. Now the code to log in. What we need to do to log in is we need to perform a password check. So to grab the password, I'm going to use a function. Sorry, not a function. I'm going to use a loop and that is going to be the while loop. And what I'm going to say is I need a variable name. I'm going to say row and that is equal to MySQL. Um, sorry, that is equal to MySQL um, fetches a row as an array. Okay, so I'm going to say MySQL fetch ASOC for short. And inside this is going to be my query. Okay, so I've got my query there um, from this, and we're fetching each um, column data from here and putting it into a um, an array called row okay so obviously with a while loop we're going to have our brackets and now we're going to set some variables so I'm going to say DB username which is the username that I'm going to extract from the database is equal to the row and this is the row name so username so as we can see here this is the row name if this is an array of the data, then each of these, this is going to be ID, username, and password. We're not using 0, 1, 2, although I'm not sure that does work. So for now, we'll keep it simple and we'll directly reference the name of our column. So the database username is going to be row and that, since this is an array due to this function on our query. Okay, and oh, and our you can guess we're going to say a db password equals a row and then our password okay so after this what we could do is say echo out um, in fact no we don't need to echo out our contents of our db username and password unless we're running into errors um, because we already know what they are we've seen into the database um, now what we're going to do is we're going to perform a check so check to see if they match okay and to do this, it's very simple using an if statement. If our username equals our DB username, okay, and our password is equal to our DB password, okay, we're going to say it's correct, okay, and then otherwise we're going to say it's incorrect. Um, in fact, for this, I'm only going to need one line, so incorrect password okay um, in fact what um, yeah we'll just leave it at that okay so here we're gonna say echo um, you're in okay let's go back here and we'll test this just before I end this part of the video um, I'm gonna say first Alex and I'm gonna put a long password in incorrect password and for now I'm gonna put ABC and you're in okay so we've checked our username um, exists We've checked both fields exist, so please enter a username and password. If we enter a username and a wrong password, we get an error message, incorrect password. If we enter, enter the correct password, we get your in. And if we enter a username that is not found, we retrieve an error message saying, oh, sorry, um, and a username that's not found, we say that the user doesn't exist. Okay, so join me in the next part, and I'll show you how to create your sessions and your logout page. See you there.